sweet. Yesterday. Oh yeah. That thing is. Well, I, mean, I was gonna say it's really fucking fast, but to me, it's fast after flying this thing. <laughs> it's like climb at 136. Oh my gosh. Like 1,500 feet per minute climb. Jesus. Just booking it. Yeah, land at 100. Wow. That sounds like it'd be a whole bunch of fun. Oh, it was. And you know what's hilarious is Travis, um, he was instructing me in it. Yeah. And uh, he told me, because it's like, you know, it's got really power, 300 horsepower. And he told me, like, whenever you're advancing the throttles to take off, don't just push them forward. Yeah. Sure enough, what I do. <laughs> <laughs> just thrown back in the yeah, seat. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because I'm so used to flying this thing. Yeah. All right, flipping skids, looking good. <laughs> That'd be funny. So we did that same thing in uh, when I flew a 16. Like they're like, "All right, you ready?" Boom! <laughs> Just went. You get thrown back in your seat real quick. That afterburner kicks in and you oh, feel it. Wow. I bet. It's probably crazy in the 16. It was a lot of fun. Have you ever worn a G-suit? I have not. No? Oh, that thing's really weird. So, it, as soon as you pull one side or the other, and depending on the amount of G's that you pull, the suit inflates. And it feels like really, really weird. Wow. Is that one echo, Charlie? It is, yep. Yeah. Coming in for a long landing? Yep. <laughs> Came in high. Okay, let's do our run-ups. Alright. Like controls rank, correct? Yeah, feels good. I felt weird there for a second. Alright, fuel indicators, yeah. Fuel selector, check opposite tank, fuel pump is on. Let's go to the left. Sweet. Seatbelt, seat position, fasten the upright, everybody's good, yep, sweet. Uh, stabilizer and better trim, let's see what we're sitting, we are super. Uh, we're down. Somebody didn't run the after landing? Nope. <laughs> Bob Sykes traffic, 931 Echo Charlie, left cross wind. Bob Sykes. Yeah, Bob Sykes traffic, Cherokee 419ers. Let's go for left, Mac. Left now and circle to land, full stop, runway 35, Bob Sykes. 
amps are good. Fuel pump. Turn that off. Good. Nothing eliminated. Throttle down to idle. Did you do the alt air? Yes. Okay, cool. Yep. Idles. Oh, I was chilling at like eight. It's that cold weather, I'm betting. Oh, yeah, what a beaut. Sweet. All right. So, pre takeoff brief. All right, so. Uh, as we're rolling out of here, we go to take off. If we have any sort of uh, engine out issues, we will address them in the following manner. Um, if it is on the ground uh, and we have an engine out, we will uh, abort our takeoff and we will get off the runway in a safe and calm fashion. Uh, if we take off and we are below 700 feet, um, we are going to try and find a real nice uh, patch of grass to land in if we can. Um, and we will do a controlled emergency descent. Um, and a Operation safe emergency landing. Uh, if we are above 700 feet, we're, uh, we're going to try and flip around and uh, land on the opposing runway. Um, if there is a fire involved in any of that, uh, please do your best to stay calm. There is a fire extinguisher uh, right back there. Um, if it is in the cockpit, please don't disperse that. I'm just going to cut out all the stuff. We'll put it out, or attempt to put it out once we get back on the ground. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to see. <laughs> Um, sweet. Uh, please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times, um, and enjoy the ride. Sweet. And we're going to do a, actually, we're going to do a short field takeoff. Today. Short field takeoff? And okay. That's 25 degrees of flaps. Sweet. Alrighty. So, let me see here. Uh, flaps, we'll do 25, mixture, rich, air conditioner is off because it's colder and all hell outside. Strobe lights. Uh, boop. Uh, nav lights, uh, landing lights, we'll go ahead and do landing lights for now as well. Fuel pump is on. Uh, fuel selector is on the left tank, which is fine. We can leave it there for a bit. Doors and windows closed and locked. Transponder. Take off call clearance. Check. Contact traffic, that's the one echo Charlie short final, three five full stop. Okay. All right, so short field takeoff. Hey, Bob Flex, traffic, Cherokee 419 is entering a left down and uh, What you're going to do is you're going to, uh, you're going to go to the, you, so think of it, short field, mm -hmm. it's a short runway. You want as much as, as much space as possible to take exactly. off. Exactly, yep. so you go kind of to the back to line up on center line. Okay. Then you're going to hold your brakes, okay. add full power while you're holding the brakes, and that's so that you can use the maximum amount of power with the maximum amount of runway. Okay. And once everything checks out in the green, you can let off the brakes and then uh, rotate at 55. Okay. Climb out at 64. Gotcha. Once you hear me say clear of obstacles, you can lower the nose. Um, and as long as you have a positive rate of climb, just uh, accelerate to 76 and start taking those flaps out. All righty. Okay. So, and we're going to be taking Back off to the northeast, day. right? Hyper 419, left down at yeah. runway 35, full stop, with helicopter in sight. Bob Sykes? With helicopter in sight. What a, what a guy. Hey, we got you in sight as well from uh, Navy 065. Let's see what everybody's doing really quick. Sounds like we got some traffic. There's that guy way up there. Anybody, what are all these people doing? They're off the runway, they're in the downwind. Yeah. Sucks traffic, maybe I'll come through some stuff. I'm going to overflow the field at about uh, 1700 midfield pop sucks. Somebody is overflying the field at 1700. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. Top flight traffic, Archer 9 or 3 Echo Charlie is taking off runway 35 for a northeast departure of Bob Sykes. And last call on Cherokee 419, we'll extend uh, down a little bit, give you some spacing. Copy, thank you. Uh, 
I don't think I don't think they really needed to do that, but I don't think so either. But I greatly appreciate it. Yeah. There's a helicopter over flying the field. Why is it always me with a Navy helicopter? They hate you. I guess so. <laughs> All right. So, let's hit the brakes. Yep. And full power. Yes, sir. We're all in the green. Let's go. So at 55. Airspeed's alive. There's 50. Rotate. Climb out at 64. Woohoo! She is windy. Yeah. Alright, you're clear of the obstacle. Clear of obstacles. Start heading this way, I guess. Sure. What's my initial heading? Uh, so you're just going to intercept this and okay. just follow that course. Gotcha. And to intercept it, since it's like we're off to the left of our course, we'll have to kind of fly at an angle to it. To okay. Intercept it. And this would be like a right a right crosswind departure. Okay. For for your call. So, you're saying call out for a right crosswind departure? Yeah, yeah, just say, like, Bob Sykes, Two Echo Charlie's making a right crosswind departure to the east. Last call, Bob Sykes. Bob Sykes, traffic archer 903, Two Echo Charlie is making a right crosswind departure to the east. Last call, Bob Sykes. Cool. All right, and I'll go ahead and bug the altitude you're climbing to. Okay, now I'm trying to remember how to do that one. So, altitude, one of these. Ah, here we go. Cool. Like that? Yep, just like that. Yeah. And once this course centers up, then you'll follow it. Um, gotcha. You'll just turn to follow it. Yeah, Bob Sykes traffic. Cherokee 419 is off at Alpha 4. We'll be uh, back taxiing for a runway 35 departure. Bob Sykes. Cool, and now we can run our climb checklist. Oh, yeah, that's right. See, you mentioned that I'd probably... All right, so climb 76. Once you've reached 1,000 AGL, 87. Fuel pump off. So we can turn the fuel pump off, build up some speed. Yep, and then now that that course is oh, centered, yeah. there you go. 87. Maybe. Show you the autopilot. So, anytime you want to use autopilot, the first thing you're going to hit is flight director. Which one? FD. FD. This side shows you your lateral navigation. This side shows you vertical. So, um, we are going to want to navigate using the GPS, so hit nav. Whenever green FMS comes up, that means it's tracking whatever's in your GPS. Okay. Um, and since we're not yet at 5,500, we're going to have to get up there by hitting flight level change. And now an airspeed will come up, and it'll keep your pitch for this airspeed. Which oh. I, that's fine. That's fancy. Yep, so hit AP. Now you're not flying. You're, it's flying itself. What? All you have control over right now is your rudder, mixture, and the throttle. That's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. 
That's awesome, though. So with the colder temperatures, how often do you use pitot heat? Uh, we could probably go ahead and throw it on now. All right. And when should we call over for flight following? So we can go ahead and switch over now since you already made your last call. Okay. Now you're just going to say with a request, like, you know, echo and approach, Archer, and read out your full call sign with a request. Zero, Club one, two, did you copy the traffic? November as well. Uh, yeah, and then whenever, yes, whenever they get back to you, you're just going to say. Going to additional traffic, 11 o'clock, 3 miles, uh, Pierce eastbound, I'll tune in case um, Flight following for uh, Dothan and uh, to Dothan and then Troy uh, with cruise altitude of uh, 5,500. Yep. Okay. But first, just say with a request. Second approach, Archer, November 9 or 3, 2 Echo Charlie with a request. November 9, 3, 2 Echo Charlie, safe position and request. Uh, what's our position? Like six miles east of Bob Sykes. November 9 or 3, 2 Echo Charlie is six miles uh, northeast of Bob Sykes. Uh, request flight following to uh, Dothan and then Troy at a cruising altitude of 5,500. Number two, Echo Charlie, squawk 4642. 4642, Echo Charlie, Number 247, Charlie, uniform, I'm going to approach. What'd you say? Uh, that was not for you, but so... Number 7, Charlie, uniform, the Echo Altimeter 3029. Number 7, Charlie, uniform, Dish Card Altimeter, advising rate of start to descent. Now it wouldn't hurt to go ahead and throw in Dothan's weather in COM2. Okay. So, um, if you don't have it on, uh, on there, then um, it's this. One, three. Five. Aircraft requesting the RNAV-9. Who is that? Eric, one, two, roger. Uh, maintain Seven, VFR practice approach. Prove no separation services provided after completion of the option. Maintain VFR to the north. Seven zero zero Zulu observation. Wind zero six zero at eight. Visibility is Number four one Lima should be passing over field two eleven o'clock half a mile. Altimeter three zero three five. Visible approach is good. Landing and departing runway three two. Fires on this field two of golf. Number four one Lima. Just maintain be a part of the north, sir. Military yeah. information golf. Cool. One. Information golf. Yep. Uh, winds zero six zero at eight. Altimeter is that. There's the runway. So, Heck yeah. if we listen to it later on and um, it's updated, yeah, it's hotel, then that knows. Number four, when they make it, we're doing navigation to your to destination. Gotcha. Now, is she going to hand me off? Number two, Echo Charlie, radar contact seven miles northeast of yeah. the Bob Sykes Airport. What'd she say? Uh, just say Rob. Number two, Echo Charlie, say uh, type aircraft and verify altitude and route. Uh, Piper Archer 5500. Uh, 9032 Echo Charlie has a Piper Archer, uh, and altitude in route is 5,500. Roger. Uh, and Eglin Approach, November 41419, are with you passing 1,600 for 2,500. <laughs> What's that? Down off the top I forgot what I was saying. Flight uh, following oh. back to Peter Prince, 2 Romeo 4. And yes, she'll pass us off number to, the, four nine or to the next four controller. Okay. She'll four also pass us off to zero for four one nine. The next controller will probably pass us off to Dothan Tower. Okay. And whenever you contact Dothan. Oh, oh no. Whenever you contact Dothan Tower, you're just going to tell them uh, Dothan Tower, Archer nine three two Echo Charlie is you know whatever your distance is. So we're like 12 miles to the southwest, and we have information going. Number 4149, our radar contact three miles west of Bob Sykes, and verify 2,000 feet. Uh, passing 2,000 for 2,500 uh, BFR back to Peter Prince. Number 4149, our roger. The crest out there are 3034. Cool. 3034, And we can thank run you. the cruise checklist. We can set our power like 2,300 RPM, 2,350. Power, uh, 
uh, less than 75% power per POA. Number two, Echo Charlie for further flight following reset transponder squawk 3437. 3437, Niner, 32 Echo Charlie. 3437. So I'm going to look at the POH for the uh, best fuel flow. So it's saying. Oh, <laughs> I think keeps falling. Am I doing this right? Here, let me see. Uh, that should be good. Air Golden 3, Egg 1 departure, I don't. Air Golden 1 3, radar contact 4 miles east of Ox Sykes, south quarter flight approved via field 2. So I'm looking at the POH right now for okay. our uh, fuel flow. So we're 5,500. That's closer to 6,000 than it is to 4. So we're going to use this table. And standard temperature is 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Yep. So we'll just say 37. That works. 37? Uh, 37 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, uh, okay. it's on here. Um, so we're going to lean it to 8.2 gallons per hour. 8.2 gallons per hour. So, clean the mixture, right? Yes, sir. Yep. Until that fuel flow goes to 8.2. Unless it starts getting rough before that, then obviously. Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't want to do it at that point. And that's part of the cruise check OS2 is, is leaning the mixture. Cruise check landing lights. Uh, and then mixture, about 3,000, yep. And 8.2 right there. Cool. And then what's it calling for RPM? Uh, 2350. One, two, report established and There we go. Cruise checklist. All right, so power is set. Roger. Engine instruments check. Everything's looking good. Landing lights up. Uh, Number four, one, Lima, contact. Fence call approach, one, one, nine, or point zero. Sweet. Cool. All right. Now, so we're in uh, navigation mode right now. Yep. Number four one nine. If you wanted to track your heading bug, you can do that. You just have to hit heading. Okay. But before you do that, be careful because if you just hit heading, like watch, without with, with it right there, it's just automatically going to turn to that. Gotcha. So before you hit heading mode, just make so sure. Here, it's on three report when you have that okay. inside. That's not right. Here, come on three, Roger. Number 932, Echo Charlie, contact Karen's approach, 133.45. 133.45, uh, Archer 9 or 32, Echo Charlie, thanks. Who is this? Uh, this is Karen's approach, but go ahead and swap it over. Yep. And then all you have to say to them is checking in at 5,500. Gotcha. And Karen's approach? Yeah. Yep. Karen's approach, Archer 9 and 32, Echo Charlie is at 5,500. Checking in. 9 32, Echo Charlie, Karen's approach, information, golf current at Dothan, altimeter at Karen's 3032. 3032, 9 and 32, Echo Charlie, thanks. 84 Whiskey, reset transponder, squawk 1633. 1633, April, Whiskey. That's it. 3032. Cool. So, um, we just go ahead and uh, put it into heading mode. Heading mode? Yep. Right. So just hit okay. HDG. Or, yeah, like that, and then HDG. Cool. Now it's tracking our heading. Okay. All right, now let's switch over to the VOR. And then that is... Where am I going? CDI? Yep. All right. Now
Now, do you remember how to show me what radio you're on right now? That's so one one five point nine. Or uh, that's the frequency we're okay. on. Okay. Uh, what radio from the VOR we're on? That one I did not remember. No. Okay, so just remember that radials are signals that go, are going outbound from the VOR. Okay. So all you need to do is just press the course knob whenever you get to it, to the uh, VOR, like this. So yeah, you so can press it. Yep. And then if you read the back of this, one uniform squawk six two. That's the radio we're on. Okay. This is zero seven zero. Gotcha. Um, and then also like this little blue thing that popped up whenever you hit PFD option and turned on bearing one. Okay. You can also read the back of that and it'll tell you what radio you're on. Okay. Um, you have to be careful though to not like accidentally get reverse sensing because you can set your course to 070, 068, whatever. That's what we're on right now. But just remember that the innermost green arrow is always pointing to the VOR. Oh, okay. The course knob is just like what you want to track. So right now, if we were to if we were to they just flip fly this, so we're still on the zero seven zero radial. But now we're on a two heading as opposed to a from heading. Uh, well, well, if we turn to this, like flew this course, we'd be on a from heading because we'd be flying outbound on the 070. Route. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yep. If we did this, that would be a 2. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. And then... So I can see that we're good on like our GPS and everything, and all of this. But what about our our landmarks yep. and all that? Yeah, we should be looking out for those. Um, there's a that river. Let me see. So it we're looks like it's gonna be up here. Yep, yeah, it's right here. So it's off our nose somewhere. That's the thing about choosing things right off your nose. Sometimes it's hard to see it because. Yeah. And yeah, we forgot to set our timer, but it's okay. I, I forget that all the time. <laughs> So when I used to when I used to run engines for uh, A10s when I was testing them, I would always forget to set my timer, and I'd have to do my checks over again because they're, they're all based off of time. I was like, gosh dang it! Like everything would look good, but like if I didn't have the right timing for how long I was doing something, I had to start over. Yeah. So. So do they allow you to use autopilot when you're doing your check ride and everything? Um, yeah, yeah, you can use it like for the first part, like as far as they'll let you use it, like whenever you're getting up to your altitude and like you know if they give you a diversion scenario, they'll let you use it to kind of uh, get yourself situated. Okay. So you can switch back to the GPS now if you want. Switch back. Um, How am I doing that? Uh, CDI. Oh yeah. Yep. CDI. Oh, you just cycle it? Okay. Yep, and then you can hit nav, so we can track the GPS instead of your heading now. Okay. Oh, nav. Yep, there you go. Now green FMS came up, and it's turning right to intercept that course, put us directly on the, on the course. Number 1384, Whiskey, contact uh, Montgomery Approach, 124.0. I see zero. that point right here. 124, zero, passing whiskey, over it right now. Where is it at? Uh, it's right underneath us. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you can go on the timer. We'll just start it from here and see how accurate we are and just hit enter. Cool. And uh, we'll see. Tricky four four zero five single clearance approach altimeter three zero three two. See how long it's gonna take us to get to our next one. Six minutes, I think, is what it's saying. River 
one uniform change to my frequency one three three point four five. I mean, the Foxtrot change over to 125.4. It's so nice traveling and not having traffic. Uh, approach 771 uniform, uh, 3,500. It's really nice. Number 925, my Papa can the pretzel temperature 3032 to send and maintain 8,000. Uh, someone uniform loud and clear. November 919 Lima Foxtrot, change to my frequency 125.4. Thank you. I'm just listening in on what's going on. There's a whole lot less going on up here than what there is back at Pop's side. Definitely. I love it. This is the first time I talked to Tower in forever, too. You'll be talking to him here shortly again. That's what I was. I grabbed my pen and everything. I knew it was going to be before too long. Actually, I think this leg was only three minutes. I'll see. Number 929, just a 992 Lima Alpha. Contact uh, Atlanta Center 120.55. I was listening for the squawk back on that. What's that? I was listening for whoever he was just calling to call back and confirm. Oh. Uh, well, uh, we might not be able to hear them yet. No. Yeah. Maybe out of range for us, but not for not for them. Oh, gotcha. So in the case of like a di diversion scenario, if you fly into weather, or if ATC comes on and tells you like, hey, there's weather ahead of you, or you know anything for any reason that you'd want to divert. Yeah. The main thing is just to turn away from what you're diverting from in the first place. So like if ATC comes on and says 10 miles ahead of you right on your course to 12 o'clock is uh, you know a tornado, like Shit. yeah, you need to figure out where you're going, but first you need to not be flying towards that tornado. So just like- oh, Immediately. You know, yeah, exactly. Start, Hit. So the main thing is just initially start your turn away Yep. And then figure out where you're going to... Fletcher, Piper Cherokee, 8368 Whiskey, uh, just off Enterprise. Just figure out where you're going to divert to. You yeah. can do that by looking at this, hitting nearest. 8368 Whiskey, uh, yeah, what's your destination? It's local area? 8368 Whiskey, uh, going up to Moat Field, but via Matt Crenshaw. I understand, bud. Cool, we'll let a beam our next point right here so you can go into your timer and restart it. Or you can just check it and we'll see the next one. Oh. Uh, you just have to hit enter. Yep. Enter, enter. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and which checkpoint was this right here? This was the 3 3 Juliet. Uh, oh, them right there? Yeah. Gotcha. Number five, my Papa, no delay to 8,000. Traffic, one o'clock, one zero miles southeastbound, 9,000 to Mooney, their VFR. Okay, Papa, number 5742 uniform. 5742 uniform, stand by. Stand by. Sorry, 8368 Whiskey, what was your destination? 8368 Whiskey going to 06 Alpha, Moat Field. 68 Whiskey Squawk 4504. 4504, 68 Whiskey. Number 5, Mike Papa, thanks for the descent. Contact Tendo 125.2. Who else was calling unanswered? 14 Uniform. Uh, go ahead. 
Clearance question number 5714 to form PA 28 off of Enterprise, climbing through 2300, request 4500 and VFR flight following to DTS. 14 uniform squawk 4545. 4545, 14 uniform. Well, so we're already like 26 miles away, so if you wanted to go down to 335 right now, that, that wouldn't be a bad stroke. Okay. Should so. we let them know? I mean, the Fox Truck contact Jack. Yeah, so you can just say Karen's approach 932 Echo Charlie's leaving 5500 for 3500. 68 Whiskey's radar contact, 5 Northwest Enterprise, altimeter 3031. And what are they? What, what approach? Uh, Cairns. 14 Uniform Radar contact, Cairns? 2 miles Southwest Cairns, Enterprise, yeah. altimeter 3031. If, if you don't know, you can always just say approach. Helicopter 3 Charlie Tango, we're circulator 2103 Alpha is active, remain. And we don't really have to let them know because we're VFR. Okay. But it's nice too. Approach 932 Echo Charlie is leaving. Uh, 5,500 for 3,500. Roger, maintain VFR. Maintain VFR to Echo Charlie. Cool, so if you want to go down, just bug it first. Now you can hit either vertical speed or flight level change. It's up to you. So flight level change is going to do it at a given airspeed. Okay. Your power will control your rate. So if you wanted to descend right now, you're going to have to pull that power back. And I'll control your rate. And just remember, when you descend, you're going to have to enrich the mixture a little bit as well. Uh, yeah, I can, I can feel it getting a little rough. That's full rich right there. What's a good descent rate that you typically go for? Um, I usually set it. Like 100 is fine, but I usually like to descend five, 600 feet per minute. Number 68, Whiskey Squawk 6267. Or I'll just put my power at 2,000 and accept whatever <laughs> descent rate I get. Number 42, Uniform Squawk 4241. Passed that river already, didn't we? We did, yep. yep. <laughs> Forgot to look for it. There's a Karen, there's a Port Rucker. Okay. Yeah. Cool, and then 20 miles out, I run the approach to landing checklist. Yep, and we're 20 right now. All right. So, comms nav, CDI. It is. Let's head back over to comm. Two. Landing in the parking runway 3-2. Five's on this contact, you have golf. Golf. Sweet. So it didn't change. Okay, so we're still on 3-2. Uh, altimeter. Let me make sure that's still the same. 1700 Zulu observation. Wind 060 at 8. Visibility is 10. Sky clear. Temperature 14, dew point minus 1. Altimeter is 3035. 3035. Yep. Number 5742 uniform. Contact Eglin approach 125.1. 125.1 for 14 of Approach briefing. I haven't had one of these. Yet. So that is just kind of talking about how you think you're going to go in and enter the pattern. Okay. So looking at the way their runways are situated, you know they're using runway 32. Yep. How do you think we would enter their pattern? Um, Number four, Tango X-ray change to my frequency 133.75. Well. 
So we're coming in this way. So three two. So essentially, we would do a forty-five onto the downwind. Roger, thank you. And enter that way. Yep. They, so we're going to do whatever tower tells us, but they're likely going to tell us to enter the le midfield left downwind, or they're just going to tell us to enter the left base for three two. Okay. This place is, gets very confusing. A lot of people want to end up lining up, want to line up. Zero five Tango, you got to go direct death center. What's three, your plan? Three six. Yeah, as far as route of flight. Uh, whenever you get in there, but there's a way to kind of adjust for that so it doesn't happen. Okay. Uh, you'll turn okay, on, Roger, not uh, now because we're using the GPS uh, now, but like you'll today, turn, hit OBS and twist this England to now. the runway heading okay. of 320 and then like this little course will be deviated either side of here and you'll just intercept. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Whatever. Cool. And we'll zero five Tango. Uh, they're cold. Go so through you can the go rest direct. of that approach to landing checklist. Um. Yeah, so mixtures rich, seatbelt okay. secured, uh, approach briefing, good, altimeter is set for 3035, three, three um, and comp nav CDI, Sweet. all of which Sweet. are good. So, and then before landing... Yep, so you can either do that right after your approach landing, okay. um, which isn't, that's not a bad practice, because a lot of people just forget it all together. Yeah. But, um, just whatever way you come up to remember to do this, just do it that way. Okay. I, I do it once I get inside their airspace, but it doesn't hurt anything to just do it now either. Okay. So air conditioner is off, autopilot off below uh, 200 AGL. Uh, we'll turn that off here in a bit. So what is the best way of turning off the autopilot? You hit this or you could just press AP. Okay. So... We'll go ahead and do landing lines and six, eight whiskey. What was your destination? Zero six alpha, you said. Yeah, zero six alpha, six eight whiskey. Okay. I'm going via KPRN. We will go ahead and switch over to the right tank. Ah, uh, okay. Without burning time today. Sure. And everything's looking good. We haven't lost anything crazy yet. Nope. Once it levels off, you'll have to, yeah, just like yep. that. Good job. And yeah, that's doping right off our nose. Those buildings, those uh, white buildings. Straight up there? Yep. Gotcha. And whenever they tell you to contact Tower, you're just going to tell Tower, both in Tower, Archer 932 Echo Charlie is, you know, 12, however many miles, like eight miles to the southwest with information Gulf, and we'd like a full stop taxi back. Okay. Information Gulf, however many miles we are. It is definitely bumpy. Yeah, it is. So I'll go ahead and show you the OBS thing since we've got the airport in sight. Okay. So uh, before you do that, real quick, just hit heading. All okay. right. Now you hit OBS just like that. Now twist the course knob until that is lined up with uh, the runway center line. And then we're going... 55.5701, Karen. What is it? 3-2? Yes, sir. Cherokee 55701, Cairns. Cool. Now that'll prevent you from trying to line up on 36. Got it. Once, you're, one, squawk four, once five, you're on seven, final, you know, this will be in the middle. Yeah. Two Echo Charlie advised open in sight, 12 o'clock, one, one miles. Just say we've got those in. Enterprise traffic, Cessna. Uh, yeah, just that. Right. 701 radar contact for North of Tri County, altimeter 3032. Hello, Charlie, we got those in sight. Charlie, contact Dothan Tower, see ya. Dothan Tower?
that frequency. Yep, so just Charlie, contact Dothan Tower. Repeat that to him. Contacting Dothan Tower, Charlie. Cool, so Dothan Tower is free. Number three, Charlie Tango Truck, 11 o'clock, two Dothan miles. Dothan Tower is 118.4. 118.4. I was really hoping Number he was going to give me a frequency. Number 4, Tango contact Kendall Approach 125.1, or Crescent 125.2. Yep. Okay, so, uh, Dothan Tower, Archer Niner, 32, Echo Charlie, uh, inbound Bravo, for... Charlie, uh, you ready to copy your clearance for So later? we've got information golf, uh, okay. we're nine hey, miles to the southwest. Charlie. Climb and maintain 2,000. Next and remember, you can't enter their airspace until, uh, until they, will be they, Cairns, one, two, five, we four, hear a call four, sign. Two, six, five, well, two. we can go ahead and descend down to 2,500. 2,500. Uh, so, flight 685, Bravo Charlie cleared asphalt 2,015 in 10 minutes, 125.4 and 2,652 on the squad. Yes, sir. Reback is correct. And again, yeah, they're not going to climb you up above 15, probably. That's fine. We'll make work. What am I calling? Dothan. Be sitting here for Dothan Tower. Oh, yes, sir. I do appreciate your help and working on it. Come on, y'all. Not a problem. Dothan Tower, 9032 Echo Charlie is eight miles to the southwest with information golf uh, requesting full stop taxi back. Two Echo Charlie Roger, runway 32, you all cleared to land. Runway 32, clear to land. Line of 32, Echo Charlie, thanks. Uh, buzzards orbiting uh, low level over top of the uh, over top of the airport midfield. Cool. All right, so pattern altitude's 1,400 feet. All right. So. He didn't tell us how to enter the pattern. So he did not. So just enter the downwind, I guess. Uh, Bravo Charlie will be ready at the end. Number 685, Bravo Charlie, Dothan Tower, Roger, runway uh, 32 at the departure turn, riding 360. Wind is uh, 060 at HR, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. That's and, uh, literally uh, right down. there, yeah. And yep. uh, turn to 360, Bravo Charlie. At this point, I would honestly probably just turn off the autopilot. That's what I was just thinking, but yeah. I'm enjoying it so much. <laughs> yeah, it is nice. Uh, it is very nice to have. It's super nice. All right, so let's see here. Before landing, air conditioners off, autopilot off, landing lights on. Uh, fuel pump is on. Fuel selector is on the appropriate tank. We're good there. And then we are heading for, uh, what is it, 1,400? Yes, sir. Sweet. Number 5 Bravo Charlie, contact Cairns 1254, have a good trip. 1254, 5 Bravo Charlie, see ya. They have like hardly any traffic going on. Yeah. Here. yeah, some days during the week it's a it's insane out here. Really? Uh, like seven people holding short. Oh jeez. Mostly Army King airs. Oh really? Yeah. A lot of helicopters too.
enter the pattern. Yeah, three two is the longer runway. Yeah. I endorsed this guy to solo, and uh, I was watching him on, on flight aware. He fucking lined up on three five. That's, <laughs> that's a big look. I was like, my god, oh, we dude. did this like four times. <laughs> or three six, I guess it is. Oh my gosh, it's bumpy. I would like to stop descending a little bit. Yeah, because he already cleared us to land. Yep. I saw your thumb go up there. Yeah, I was thinking about it. <laughs> Creature of habit from Bob yeah. Sykes. And we'll try a short field landing. Try a short field landing? Yep, so on those thousand foot markers. Alright. Let me get down. Who is calling me right now? Can't take a phone call at the moment. Of course they're calling you right now. I know, right? How rude. You're not going to need any of that power anymore for this short field. Yeah. Take it all out. So the reason that happened is because we only had 25 degrees of flaps in. Yeah. All right. Where are we? Uh, he'll probably tell us left on Foxtrot, left on Alpha, cross 3-6, hold short of 3-2. That's my guess. I haven't heard anything yet. Should we just take left on yeah, Foxtrot? Yeah, we'll just take the left on Foxtrot. Alright. Come on, go. Come on, let's go talk to us. What, tell us what we need. Right? They're not paying attention, probably. Did you give them a call? Yeah, just say, yeah, clear of uh, 3 2 at Fox Trot. Tower 9 3 2 Echo Charlie is clear of uh, runway uh, 3 2 on Fox Trot. Number 2 Echo Charlie, Roger, taxi to run via Alpha. You can just monitor this frequency. You have a good day. Taxi via Alpha, you can have a good day as well. Um, you could just tell them, uh, just tell them we'd like to taxi back to 3-2. Yeah. 
Isn't that what he said? Taxi. Uh, no, because he would have told us to cross 36. So I just say we'd like to taxi back to 32. Tower 9 out of 32, Echo Charlie. Uh, we would like to taxi back to 32. So sorry about that. I forgot about that. Short term memory loss and everything. Taxi to runway 32 via Alpha, and you can cross runway 36 on Alpha. 32 via Alpha, cross runway 36. Thanks. Have a good day. Roger. And uh, what's going to be your destination out here, or do you not want uh, advisories? Uh, we'll be heading to Troy. We'll be heading to Troy, sir. Roger, up to Troy. And would you like the advisory, or do you just want to do it all on your own? Uh, can we get that advisory, please? Thank you. No problem. Citizen traffic, JOT 55701 is 10 miles to the south at 3,500 with golf inbound VFR. Number two, Charlie Squawk 4515 for your advisories, please. 4515. Two, And uh, calling tire, was that 55701? Hey, fam. Number 701, Roger, runway 32, you all cleared to land. Clear to land, runway 32, 701. Cool, and then um, we will probably, once we get up there, we hold short and everything, um, we'll run our final items again. You'll still run around after landing um, when you land here. And then instead of doing the entire run up when you get down there, just like on the on your solos, you'll just okay. run, run the final items. But while we're holding short up there, uh, doing our final items, we should probably load in Troy's weather, just so that we we have it and we're not looking for it whenever, because it's a shorter distance up to Troy than than it is than it was to here. Gotcha. And they have a runway 32 as well, so we may be making like a 40 mile final for runway 32. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright, so he did say to cross runway 36. I didn't hear him say to hold short. Hey, Joe, yep. tower, uh, Piper You're right. With you. We're about 10 miles to the southeast. Request transition to Blackwell at uh, And if he told you to hold short, you again, please? or if he just didn't say anything, yes, you. you would have to stop. Yeah, and hold short and let him know. 4634 Whiskey Roger and uh, Squawk 4546 and type aircraft. 4546 Is there a GPS going on? Yeah, it Number 34 Whiskey Squawk 4546, please. That's fine. Crossing four five four six. If you know, if I'm relying on you to tell me that, there's a problem. Yeah. Right. Well, I can't figure out how to shut that thing up either. Like I've gone into the settings. <laughs> Number three four whiskey uh, transition through the airport. Your correction: the class D is approved. Uh, your transponder is there about eight miles south of the field. Roger. Thanks for the transition. Three four whiskey. Alright. So, you want me to pull off a little bit of the side? Um, no, you're good. You can go straight up to the whole short line because okay. there's nobody behind us. And then uh, I'm good on the pre takeoff brief, but we will be doing a soft field takeoff. Soft field takeoff, got it. Have you done any of those yet? Um, I don't remember. Okay, we'll do one. Okay. And after you get everything done on that, then we'll, uh, yeah. we'll talk about it. And you won't tell them you're holding short until you're ready, and then you'll say holding short of 3-2, ready for departure. Okay. Alright, so pre takeoff, flaps, mixture, full ridge, air conditioner off, strobes on, nav lights on, landing lights on, fuel pump is on, fuel selector is the proper tank, we're going to hang out on the right one. Um, doors and windows closed and latched. Transponder is set in alt mode. Takeoff call clearance. Okay. So before you tell them, yep. uh, so soft field is you're going to roll out there with the yoke all the way back. Okay. So think of, so you know how short is a short runway. Soft is a soft runway. So yep. grass that just got rained on. Yeah, so you don't want to be digging your nose in. Exactly, yep. Gotcha. So you're going to roll out with the yoke all the way aft. You're not going to stop. 
Uh, once you're on center on, you're gonna add full power. You know, check like everything's green like you normally do on okay. every takeoff. But whenever you add full power, you have to take a little bit of that pressure out just so you don't tail strike. Um, but you're gonna get off the ground a little early than yeah. You're no, you're you kind of want to stay in the ground effect until you reach C, right? Yep, 64. Yep. Okay. And then at 64, you climb out, um, and then until I tell you clear of obstacle. Okay. Sounds like a plan. All right. Seven Tower, 9032 Echo, Charlie is holding short, runway 32, ready for departure. Seven Tower, 32 Echo, Charlie, Roger, and after departure, you can proceed on course. Runway 32, you are clear for takeoff. Traffic is a uh, Cherokee turn on about a three mile final. Clear for takeoff, 9032 Echo, Charlie, thanks. F 563, Roger, and uh, you're clear to the Foxtrot Oscar Echo Airport as five. Climb and maintain uh, 2000. Expect flight level 2401, zero minutes after departure. For frequency, Birmingham or Christian Cairns 125.4, and squawk 0717. Stall, stall. Good. All right, 64. All right, very nice, you're clear. Yes, sir, Reback is correct. Let me know when you're ready to taxi. Ooh, ooh. bumpy. Sure is. course for this one what's that again the course for this one okay so just turn off OBS okay and uh, go into your flight plan flight plan uh, uh, hit clear uh, clear uh, flight plan uh, FPL. oh FPL gotcha gotcha, gotcha. Uh, scroll down okay oh. we didn't put it in there yet so you're just gonna have to put in uh, Troy so so do direct Troy Yes. Okay. Direct. Uh, what is it? T O I. Tango Oscar India. I don't think you are. Tango, you said Oscar? Yes, sir. Tango Oscar India. F563, Roger, runway uh, 32 taxi via uh, Alpha. You cross runway 36 at Alpha. What's that beeping? Uh, it's. Oh, uh, I think that was on their end. Okay. And then enter. Cool. Echo Charlie, contact Karen's approach 125.4. 125.4, Echo Charlie, thanks. Camera 3 4 Whiskey, you're clear in my Delta. Radar services, Terminator Squad VFR, and you have a good day. 125.4. Not a problem. See you later. And since we already have a squat code, you can just tell, all you have to do is check in with them. So, 701, turn okay. left at so top. Cairns approach 932, Echo right. Charlie is at good day. this climbing to whatever, whatever you're climbing to. Uh, this one's shorter, right? Yep. You want to stick to 3,500? Sure. Okay. And who is this approach? Uh, Cairns. Cairns again? Yep. Cairns approach 932, Echo Charlie is heading towards Troy at, uh, currently at 2,300, uh, climbing to 3,500. Number 9, C2, but Charlie Cairns, radar contact with Timeter 3030. 3030, Charlie Cairns. Number 7062, contact Jacksonville Center 125.75. Oh. Uh, 
2575. Thanks. Have a great day. See yeah, you, too. There we go. Okay. All right. We can run the climb checklist. Yep. Number 1528 X-ray contact, Atlanta approach 125.5. 125.5, Atlanta approach, thanks. Uh, it was, it was, right. Yeah, oh, right. yep, you're right. <laughs> uh, I'm 7600, uh, we're doing the 8700, um, and I'm pitching down a little bunch. Fuel pump off. Number 50, Juliet, clear direct route tail. Yeah, fuel pump off is pretty much the only thing like, uh, yeah. you have to remember. Like, All right. Turn slightly this way, get back up on our heading. How many more flights you got going on today? Just one. Just one after this one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I might, uh, might try to convince my brother to come out for a uh, introductory flight. Oh, yeah? Uh, I'm trying to. Does he live around here? He lives with me right now. You think he'd like it? Oh, yeah. Definitely. That'd be cool. And then, so we're gonna have to look at the POH for this one. So 3,500, same thing, 8.2, yeah. Get back on my heading. There we go. Carry approach. Carry to approach. Aerostar 600, seven alpha over the 06 alpha. Well, you did most of the cruise checklist, but just, just cross reference. Zero three zero. Good afternoon. Which has zero seven alpha. Power engine instruments. Landing lights off. Yep. Cool. And now we could probably listen to Troy weather. Air weather is. Let me see. Just look on here. Look here, it's uh, one two zero at nine two three, five. leveling two thousand. One two zero eight three. Three departure rate of contact. Fighting three six zero. Coming to maintain one zero ten thousand. Okay, three six uh, zero up to ten thousand. I've had five six three. Fort Troy, Alabama. Automated weather observation. One seven five two Zulu, wind variable at zero three, visibility one zero, sky condition clear, temperature one five Celsius, dew point minus zero one Celsius. What's the on-course to altimeter three zero three three? Remarks on course to Pinkery would be three zero three nine. Three zero three three. Yep. I always do that. At 563 is clear, direct Pinkley, then it's filed. Okay, direct Pinkley, then it's filed uh, at 563.
This is fucking awesome. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's pretty cool. This is my favorite type of flying is cross countries. Yeah. 5243 carriage put altimeter 3030 descend and maintain 8000. It's fun to just go to different airports. Yeah. Pet 563, contact uh, Jacksonville Center, 1343. 343, uh, Pet 563. 643, Alpha Mike, contact Delta Tower, 18 Contact Delta Tower, 18 I saw somebody up here. What's that? I saw somebody up here at Troy, so... I'm just trying to figure out what runway they're using. Looks like runway 7. 7350 Juliet on the uh, Mr. Brushville heading 180, Club and maintain 6000. Yeah, after the ILS at Troy, fly heading 180, up to 6000, we'll get you down to Pensacola. They're heading over to Pensacola. Delta Center, What's up? They're heading over to Pensacola. Oh, okay. That sounds like fun too. Yeah. How is it that you were looking at the the weather and stuff on here? Oh, uh, the weather? Yeah. We're just zooming out. It's not anywhere near us, but it's it's like just zooming out on this thing. Oh, okay. It's I thought there might be something that you actually have to. Oh no, no. Nope. All right, two three Delta, Karen's out. Number three zero two nine. Three zero two nine or two three Delta. Yep. <laughs> At least the view is awesome, you know? It is. It's very... Yeah. I'm sitting here trying to, like, just look at a whole bunch of different things, make sure all my stuff is matching up, you know? Yeah. That's... And then it's like, okay, yeah, I've been good every time I've looked for the most part. Well, I mean, there's always ways to, like, get ahead of the plane. Like, you know, you could put in Troy's... Tower frequency up here, the standby That's while you're waiting. That's a good idea. So their frequency is 124.3. But if I wasn't sitting here and you needed to figure that out, you could just scroll over to the nearest page. I need a day to just like sit and fuck with that. Yeah. <laughs>
there's Troy, there's their ATIS, their ground, their tower. And I just got to that by scrolling over to the nearest page, clicking in, and then using the little knob to go down until I get to Troy. Okay. There's their ATIS, there's their tower, there's the ground. Call four five two zero. We're about twenty miles out. Nice, nice. All right, approach to landing. Um, Six nine ready contact five West Blackwell Airport. Altimeter three zero two nine. Hundred. Troy Municipal Airport, Troy, Alabama. Automated weather observation, 1800 Zulu. Wind, 030 at 04. Visibility, 10. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, 15 Celsius. Dew point, minus 01 Celsius. Altimeter, 3033. Remarks. Okay, we're still on 303C. Cool. Uh, Approach briefing, seat to seat belts, mixture rich. Cool, so for the approach briefing, um, we know, well, like, not by listening to that. Well, by listening to that, Windsor 030 at 4. Yeah. So you would just come in here, look at the runways. Whichever one's closest. Yep. Um, 030, 07. Seven. So if we're coming in from this way, it's left traffic. I go on the long way, probably. Okay. So we got that. Traffic. We're coming in from where are we at? Yeah, that way. So we're essentially going to go over midfield, do a teardrop, come in on the downway. Alrighty, I like it. Their traffic pattern is also 1,400 feet. Okay, I think these guys forgot about me. <laughs> so, uh, air conditioner is off, autopilot is off, landing lights, we can turn those on. Um, pump on and fuel selector we are still good on this tank wait cool it looks like we got a little bit of traffic up there I've got Troy it's at you see that looks like the town down here okay yeah and then just north of it it's that big flat area Oh, okay. Yeah. I see ya. Oh, so I lost my actual thing when I switched over to OBS, didn't yep. I? Yep, you okay. did. That's why, uh, just wait until, um, you get to, like, until you actually are visual with the actual, with the airport. But gotcha, gotcha. We, we are, so we're good. But you were, I didn't know. <laughs> True. <laughs> And it sounds like they might be non-towered. Yep, sounds okay. like the tower's closed. Uh, you can ask approach real quick, just because uh, it's saying on here it's active. Just say approach is the TFR over Troy Stadium active. Approach 932 Lego Charlie is the TFR over Troy Stadium active. Okay, and we're still on... Uh, yep, we're yeah. still on Karen's. Uh, and is the... Uh, is the approach over Troy still active is what I'm requesting. Uh, no, you're going to say approach is the TFR over Troy Stadium. Blue Street, 5243, Tyndall Approach, 125.2. You're just asking if the temporary flight restrictions is active right now over the Troy Stadium. Okay. Tyndall Approach, is the TFR over yeah. Troy Stadium still active? Uh, Yeah. Okay. And they're, they're uh, Karen's approach, not Karen's. <laughs> 
Jones approach, nine zero three to Echo Charlie. Is the uh, TFR over Troy Stadium still active? Blue Street didn't channel last time again, 25-2. So if we're at 3,500, we're technically above it because the elevation there is... Uh, 6907 Alpha, Atlanta approach, 125-5. 25 5, 5 Alpha, see ya. Let's just go up to 36 just to be safe. It says we got, uh, let's see, that would be today, 184S started four minutes ago, so surface to 10,000, that uh, rocket area is active. Surface to 10,000? Wow. All right, well, we'll just go around it. All right. Active to 10,000, I say to that, Charlie, thank you. If that's what you were asking about, but I'm not showing anything other than that. To a controller, you are landing Troy, correct? That is correct. I to a controller. Do you have the airport in sight? Sure do. Roger. Oh, you can squall VFR and frequency change to advisory. I have no traffic between you and the field. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. 7000, Juliet, the center maintain 3000 to route time. You're clear for the ILS. Squawk VFR, uh, change approved. I have to echo Charlie Day. And then what's there? One, two, four point three? Yep. Okay. We're gonna avoid that. My feet are so warm. Want me to turn this down? Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know that's what that was. No, yeah, if you don't mind, my feet are cooking. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> that's funny. I was like, man, it feels way, way warmer than normal. <laughs> Even better, these things are steel toes, so oh, they man. like they trap in the heat. Nice. South, uh, pretty much just south easterly. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, and are we on the approach frequency? No, we. You switched over to the is to it? the CTAF. Okay. It's so just going to be Troy traffic now since the tower is closed. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was wondering if the tower was open or not. So. Troy traffic nine three two Echo Charlie about. Eight miles southeast of the airport, we will be overflying midfield to join in with a uh, downwind traffic pattern for runway 070. Uh, try try. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, that works. Works good. Let's swing a little bit more this way. It looks like we're we're buzzing that. What's their traffic pattern altitude? Uh, 1,400. 1,400, got it. 
Shoot, at this rate, I might just go all the way around. I just direct into yeah. the downwind. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, if you get up to 3.6, you'll be over this, and you could just kind of... Oh, I thought he was saying it was at uh, 10,000. Oh, yeah, maybe. That's true, he did. I forgot about that. I got you. I got you. Why is it got to be like right next to the airport, you know? I know. We'll just do a touch and go here. Okay. Because the tower is closed, so it's like useless. Not useless, it's, a, it's another airport getting you used to entering the pattern, but... Yeah. You know, the full stop taxi back would be the same thing as if you are at Bob Sykes, so... Yeah, I'm pretty much just on a super far out crosswind. True. Super high, super far crosswind. Yep. Uh, Airbus, Airbus 932 Echo Charlie. Yeah. I don't think you enriched the mixture. Oh, you are right. Thank you. Uh -huh. Where did I miss that? Approach to landing. Oh, yep. Very last one. Thank you for that. Uh huh. There is like no one out here. Nope. It's nice. I'm sure on your solo there will be 10 people in the pattern. <laughs> oh, left, no. left and right traffic <laughs> the same runway. <laughs> that would be miserable. <laughs> on the right tank, solid. Well, I would just make a radio call. Traffic 932 Echo Charlie is going to be joining the downwind for runway 070, touch and go. Tour traffic. Good.
Yeah, I like how high you stayed back there too. Yeah. Instead of dropping right in like back there because there's obstacles around here. So that's that's good. I like that. I like to see everything from high up. Usually you're yep. in the pattern you're at 2200, so you'll need to be at least at that to stop yourself from descending. I wanted to bleed off a little bit of speed. Oh, you bled altitude instead. Yeah, you're right. That looks like a thin runway. Oh, it is. It's pretty narrow. Narrow, narrow compared to Bob Sykes, for sure. I'll do another short field landing. All right. So you'll still want to put that first notch of flaps in when you normally do as well. There you go. Troy traffic, Archer 932 Echo Charlie, turning left base for runway 070. Touch and go. Troy traffic. Archer 2 Echo Charlie, turning final for runway 070, touch and go, fly traffic. Troy traffic, Skyhawk 73502, it is 10 miles uh, west southwest of the field. We're uh, inbound on the ILS uh, 7, we'll be doing a touch and go and a departure to the south. Troy traffic. So if you're going to slip it, don't don't use any power. Take all your power yeah. up. God, it's windy. I'm just floating. I literally have no power. <laughs> yeah. Not as soft as I want it to be. Uh -huh. And then we'll just do a, like a, a downwind departure to the south. So we'll fly the pattern. Okay. And then we'll just cross over the field. Like we won't stop climbing. We'll just cross right back over the top of the field. Okay. Headed towards Bob Sykes. Traffic Archer 932 Echo Charlie is on the go. Okay. Cool. So basically, follow the traffic, but we're going to do a midfield down to the south for Bob Sykes. Yep. Alrighty. And you can just hit flight plan real quick. Oh, geez. Uh, flight plan. Uh, scroll down to KCEW. Oh. And direct. Direct. Enter, enter. Enter, enter. Cool. There it is. Weed. That'll take us home.
Clear traffic, Skyhawk 7350, Juliet is 7 miles uh, west, southwest of the field, uh, inbound on the straight in, runway 7 ILS, uh, with a departure, doing a touch and go, departure to the south. Clear traffic. Clear traffic, Archer 9 or 32, Echo Charlie is going to be heading out to the south, or will be overflying the field for a uh, southerly departure. Clear traffic. Super clear him. Oh, that's good. Holy bumpy. Yeah. Come on, Batman. All right, let me get my, let me get my climb. Time check with 87 is what I'm shooting for right now. Uh, and fuel pump off. Okay. Nice. Got a little bit of a tailwind on the way home. Oh, Heck yeah. Direct tailwind, actually. Heck yeah. That's what I like. Traffic, Skyhawk uh, 5 0 Juliet, uh, 5 miles uh, west southwest of the field, inbound runway 7 ILS for a touch and go departure to the south. Ooh. That was some gusts. <laughs> I love uh, the cold weather. Yeah. So does the airplane. Dude. Yeah, that's what I was thinking when I when I was uh, looking into all the stuff for flying this weekend. Yeah. I was like, yo, the plane's gonna absolutely love this cold weather. I'm sure of it. Definitely. Traffic 9 or 32 Echo Charlie is uh, making last call for a southbound departure. Like that. Going if we're westbound, what altitude would we want to go to? If we were westbound, yes. uh, even plus or minus 500? Cool. Which we are, we are more west than, we will be more west when we're heading to Bob Sykes than we are east. Okay. Because you got to follow that course to get to it. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'll head up to 4,500 then. Is that your GPS talking to you again? Yeah, it is. It's <laughs> telling me I'm inside of a TFR, but we're above it. I think. I mean, I know that guy. If if that was the case, we would be hearing. We'd be hearing from somebody. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. I think what he was saying was that um, this restricted area is active up to 10,000 because it is active up to 10,000. This says it's up to only up to 3,000 AGL. For the TFR? Yeah, I think he got confused what we were asking. Gotcha. They wouldn't let us get away with that, so. Yeah, we'd be hearing something. Yep. Of all the times that I was making those calls at Troy, I was trying so hard not to say Bob Sykes. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, yesterday when I was flying the Baron, I kept saying Archer 595 Charlie Fox <laughs> Oh. That's a fancy looking Archer. Yeah, it is. Archer with two engines. <laughs> You can cruise at like 2,400 RPM if you want. Do what? We can cruise at 2,400 RPMs this time. Okay. We still at 8.2? 8, 8.5, 8 since we're, our RPMs are a little higher. Okay. Stop going down. <laughs> Almost like you got to catch it. Yeah. With traffic, Skyhawk 350 Juliet, uh, we're two miles south of the field, climbing uh, past 2,000 up to 6,000, we'll be departing to the south. Last call, Troy traffic. Landing lights off. Instruments look good. Uh, no, 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 no. Landing lights off. Stay about three thousand. Cool, cool. Sweet. Now, well, just... if you wanted to use the autopilot. Do you remember what to press so that you see green FMS up here? Uh, let's see here. So I do autopilot. Well, once and you do that, that activates it. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Let me kill that off really quick. Good job. Um, so, what is it? Oh, yeah. Nav. Cool. And if you want to bug your current altitude or, I mean, do what you were already at, you could just hit out. Okay. And that'll hold it. Uh, do it one more time. And it'll hold 4480. Oh, okay. Now you can hit autopilot. Good. Uh, 
started pulling away from me like that. I was like, eh, no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anytime it does something weird, just do that. Yep. Turn it off. Yep. I gotta pee really bad. Oh no. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> I'll try to get there a little quicker. How far out are we? Uh, let's see, 55 miles. Oh geez. 30 minutes. You want me to chug one of those bottles with no. you? <laughs> no, it's all good. Yeah, I hate that, going on a road trip. And then, for me, whatever reason, I don't know what it is. Like, it's like you get on the road trip, especially if you know it's going to be like a 10 hour long one, and it's like, okay, we've only been on the road for 30 minutes, and I gotta pee. It's like this mind game. Yep. So. Yeah, it is. It's like, I don't want to stop too many times, but yeah. I also don't want to get a... <laughs> Ruined my bladder. Okay, yeah. Distance fifty two point six, bearing two oh seven. There. Autopilot's on at forty four eighty. That's crazy how it just pegs it. I like know. That. Yeah, and it holds it. And yeah. it trims it on its own. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah, the trim's like way up there. Cool. I want you to, to first hit heading mode, or hit to bug your heading real quick. If you hit, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you now go. hit adding mode. Cool. Now I want you to switch to the VOR. Is it CDI? Yep. Okay. All right, now I want you to take us directly to that VOR. Directly to it? Yes. Oh, so just bug your heading again real quick. Bug it again? Yep, bug it. All right, so press that. Press what? Press the course knob. Course knob? Yep. There you go. Oh. Now that'll take you directly to the VOR. I just have it. So. Okay, so then. Yep. Anytime you want to know how to get directly to the VOR from where you're at, you just press the oh. course That's not what I meant to do. So right now we are on the 030 radio flying inbound on the 030 radio. Okay, hold on. So So this is the Crestview VOR. Yeah. And each radio is a signal that goes out from this. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. So now. we're on the 030 radio right now flying inbound on it. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Radials can be kind of hard done to to get a lot of times. Now, if I were to tell you to intercept the, whatever, 020 radial, all you'd have to do is and fly inbound is twist this so that the tail is on 020. Gotcha. Um, and then once it centers up, you'll be flying inbound on the 020 radial. Okay. If I told you to fly outbound on the 020 radial, you would just twist that course knob to 020. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You'd be flying outbound on it. But if you want to fly inbound on it, 
set that radio or set the tail to the radio yep. and intercept it. And actually hit nav mode real quick. So and then just leave it like this. Once we once this centers up, it'll switch and it'll track this VOR radio instead of your heading. Oh no way. Yeah. Yeah, this autopilot's pretty sweet. That's nuts. There's, like, no need to really mess with it, okay? What is this uh, giant lake thing right here? Because that would be a good visual, you You're know? right, it would. I think it's called Gant Lake. But it's this. I don't know exactly what it's called, but that's it. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, there's no, no name to it, but... No name like, and that's a 331 going over it. It looks like, yeah. All right, you can switch it back to the GPS. I just wanted to show you that. All right, yeah. Nav. Good. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna have to play with that a bit. That's pretty cool. That's a good thing about having the flight sim, is you can. Messing with, yeah, yeah, mess with that stuff. Hey, good afternoon, Troy Tower. This is uh, Citation 368 Hotel Sierra. Airborne off of Greenville. We're headed your way, landing Troy. Guess what, brother? They're closed. So, is there anyone else that we should switch over to before getting over to Bob Sykes? If you wanted, you could get flight following. Um, if you wanted to. But, it's up to you. Do we necessarily need it? Um... On your solo, I would I would do it. Okay. Um, usually, there's nobody between. Like, there's literally almost nobody ever in between us and, and uh, Bob Sykes at, once we leave Troy. But yeah, on your solo, just just have flight following the whole way. Okay. But Korea yeah. Tower three six eight Hotel Sierra, check it out. No, I think we're all right. All right. Oh yeah, I forgot this thing's going. That's good. Oh, the, uh, the GoPro? Got that one memorized? I got it written there. Oh, this is good, right? Yep. Now I just got used to talking with everybody and setting my courses in the whole nine yards. <laughs> so when you do the, uh, like the oral portion and whatnot, uh, what's the main thing to like focus on that? Just because there's like so Great much tower, material. Hotel Sierra. Like, what would you recommend focusing on that? Troy Tower's closed. Um, okay, thank you for that. Um, I would just recommend the arrow, so the the documents required for the airplane to be legal. Okay. So that's called the arrow acronym. Yep. Uh, the aircraft calling Troy be advised tower is closed on the weekend. Okay. Uh, thanks for that. Appreciate the information. We'll be there shortly. Um, Roger that. <laughs> All right, I'm done with you. <laughs> yeah, they interrupted me. Um, so. Documents for the aircraft, yep. arrow. Inspections for the aircraft, aviate. Okay. And the, the and so AV, and instead of an I, it's a one for the 100 hour. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and then the day VFR requirements, A, tomato flames. See, yeah. I, I feel like I'm never going to remember. Okay. I mean, that's okay. <laughs> that one. If you don't remember the entire thing, that's fine. But definitely remember... Most of it, yeah. Or some of it, and then if you know the reference material, where to find the find the rest, that works just as well. Okay. I'll right. give you that. It's 91.205 for the equipment required for for day flight in the v, in VFR in the far aim. 91.205. Um, 
know the emergency squat codes? So. Uh, 76, 77, 75? Yep. Do you know what each of them are? Um, stand by. One of them's bombs out. One of them's hijacking. What's the other one? I don't remember the last one. It's just a general emergency. Just general? Okay. Yeah. That would probably be why I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a standard. It's, just a yeah. standard. Hey. it's boring. Yeah. It's not a hijacking. Yeah. The hijacking is 75. Okay. Class comms is 7,600. Okay. General emergency is 7,700. Okay. Got it. Somebody, I was hearing somebody say that they had like this little way of remembering it, but I don't remember what it was. But it was specifically for the lost comms one. Huh. I feel like I've heard that one too. I just don't remember it either. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and then just being like knowing the systems of the airplane, like it's important as well. Like okay. know what kind of engine it is, uh, the size of the prop how much usable fuel you have. You know the, the control surfaces, what they do, like an aileron. Yeah. Aerodynamics. Not anything crazy, but like, you know, pretty much like Bernoulli's principle. With yeah. air, air going over our wing, it's going faster over the top, which yeah. creates a low pressure. Above it and a yeah. high pressure below it, yep. creating the lift. Switch tanks. I'll let that run for a bit. So, okay. So most of that stuff I remember, but that, yeah, that tomato fire one is. The, I remember trying to, like when I was first, first going through the ground school and everything. I remember like trying to remember it and I was like, this is, I'm never going to remember this one. Yeah, if you remember like some of the stuff in it and then just uh, know where to find the rest. Yeah. Like think about the stuff that you, you, like obviously you need to fly. You need an airspeed indicator. Yeah. You need a magnetic compass, magnetic direction indicator, I guess. Um, you need a altimeter need a fuel quantity indicator yep. you know to comply with the VFR fuel requirements you need that um, the landing gear indicator lights don't apply to you you need an anti-collision lighting system so that's the strobes and then the beacon the anti-k yeah uh, I always thought it was funny they call it an anti-k collision starts with a C deal with them with the 15s and 16s all the time. So. That was my first question when somebody was saying, we were troubleshooting an issue with it, and IK was blinking like erratically. And they were like, something's wrong with the NIK. And I was like, what does NIK stand for? <laughs> and they're like, anti-collision. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, are you sure about that? They're like, yeah, why? I was like, okay. Just gonna leave that. That's hilarious. Anti K, huh? I'm gonna start calling it that. Do it. Confuse everybody. Your your military flight line dudes will know exactly what you're talking about. They're gonna be like Yeah, that's what we always call it at work. You never heard it called that before? Never. No? Oh, man. But I have now. That's all that matters. Yeah, that's true. Now I'm going to tell everyone in the check ride you fucking call it an anti k <laughs> Just kidding. I don't have any idea what the hell you're talking about, probably. Dude, that meme you sent me was so funny. 
<laughs> oh, what about one? guessing? Like, he's like, it's a plankton. <laughs> he's like, alright, you ready? you ready for your check ride? <laughs> After guessing what? his way through the oral. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Okay, just in the name of knocking some of this time out, I'm going to have you throw these on. Oh, man. I was wondering what you were looking for. I was like, you're digging. This is going to be really easy with anti-pilot, with, <laughs> yeah. with anti-pilot, with uh, autopilot on. All right, so show me what radio we're on from the Crest View VOR. What radio we're on from the Crest View VOR? Yes, sir. Oh, and since you switched, you might want to hit heading mode. Oh, yeah, you're right. There you go, cool. Um, so, the 03... Zero VOR? Oh, actually, we're, yep, we're, we're to the... We're off of it, so... Yeah, we're to the left of it. So, technically, right now, we are on the 4? Yep, zero, 040. Zero. Yep. Okay. Sweet. How far from the Crest Review VOR are we? How far are we? Yes. Um, 25.5 miles? 25.4? That's from Bob Sykes Airport. Oh, that's from the airport? Uh, Remember that thing you did with the PFD option? With the PFD and option. Then, so the button down there. Okay. 26.8. Yep. Okay. Yep, and that CEW, it's using NAV1. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. Cool. You can take the foggles off. That was a good point five right there. Wait. I like it. One thing that I was worried about, which I'm, I'm glad it's not like this, but if it was like ridiculously sunny today, and then just being like, oh god, I can't see anything. Delta Regional, this is Point Set Air 350. Let's call in, um, so you know we're coming in for a quick turn. For a quick turn? I don't know. Uh, that's for some weird. Uh, that's for a random airport, not not around here. Oh. Hey, how about you shut the fuck up and get on the right <laughs> frequency, you bitch? <laughs> get off my frequency. Could you imagine? That would be hilarious. <laughs> They'd be like, "Well, I, I never." Calling regional delta? Is that what he said? Sounds like it. Wrong frequency, my friend. Yeah. Or whatever, I'll just let him keep doing it. There'll be. I'll, I'll put it up on YouTube later. <laughs> yeah, this is Point Center 350. We are about 25 minutes away. Um, we'll be landing. We'd like a quick turn. Um, we're going to need fuel. Oh, I guess I can go back to... That. Yeah, so when I did, I think this was the exact flight that I had done on the flight sim. Uh, but I had no idea w what to do with the autopilot, so I did it all by hand. Yeah. Some instructors will make you fly the whole thing by hand. They yeah. won't even teach you the, but to me that's that's silly. I mean, you have autopilot, why wouldn't you use it? Yeah, it's, it's not too, like you have it for a reason. Yeah. So it's not practical to make them do it without it. In exactly. fact, if they go through the whole thing without doing autopilot, they get into the plane, they're not going to know how to use it. You yeah. Know? And another thing is about autopilot, I like for everyone to know how to use it in case you f somehow fly into IMC. Is there anyone on this frequency that's picking us up, Point Center 350? Um, I don't know. What, he, what did he ask? He asked if anybody's picking him up. Yeah. So, yeah, I got you. This is 932 Echo Charlie. We got you. Yeah, if you ever fly into IMC, like instrument conditions, and you, you know, just turn the autopilot on. Like, yeah. Uh, bug an altitude higher than you, hit flight level change, make sure you're climbing at a safe airspeed. Yep. And, and just, you know, hit heading mode, pretty much. Just start climbing and get, like, you know, 
get out. Uh, yeah, high enough to get away from any obstacles. Yeah. We only got 10 more minutes. How you holding up? I'm good, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll make it. <laughs> What's this one to the left? Giant lake. That is... I'm going to give it a gander. Lake Jackson. Lake Jackson. Yeah, we also have Florella right there off our wing as well. The airport. Right, let's Light. see. Oh, yeah. Yep. Kind of behind us. Oh, kind of behind us? Oh, that yep. stretch of open? Yeah, it's, a, oh, it's okay. a short runway. It's let's like... See it. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's see here. So we're a little less than 20 out, so approach the landing comms now. So we're on... We're on the right frequency, 122.95. Let's grab the weather. Celsius. Altimeter, 3031. Three, Remarks. Density altitude, minus 200. Crestview, Sykes Airport. Automated weather observation, 1850 Zulu. Wind calm. Visibility, 10. Okay. Sky condition, broken, 1, 1000. Temperature, 1, 4 Celsius. Dew point, 0. I don't know anymore. That wind's calm. So, we got somebody behind us at 800 feet below us. See him back there? I don't. I don't either. Alright, so approach briefing. We will land. Uh, seats and seatbelt secure. Mixture rich. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and push it rich. You want to go ahead and do it? Okay. Yeah. I was just thinking, you know, saving you guys some gas. <laughs> yeah, it's better to just do it. Yeah. What the checklist says, so you don't forget about it. You're right, you're right. Uh, air conditioner is off, autopilot off below 200 AGL. Landing lights on. We'll do the landing lights. Fuel pump is already on because I changed tanks. Fuel selector set appropriate. Wheat. We are golden. And I'll kill off autopilot once we got more. Closer to that there. Or not too far out. Coming out of the MOA. Yep, and you can just see it right there too. Yeah. There she is. What a beauty. Right? Home sweet home. I haven't heard anybody on frequency very much. Not too many people flying, I guess. Nope. What runway are you going to use? Well, the winds are calm, so I mean, we could use either one. Cool. So. That's right, up to you. You know what? I'm going to use 3-5 just because I want to go through and do that teardrop. Okay. Oh, it's mad at me because of my altitude. Anything?
anytime you cross over the field, you have to be at least 500 feet above the pattern altitude. Yep. So 1,700 or above. Gotcha. Yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll leave it at that. You know, if you cross at 1,700 and it makes more sense to just drop right into the left downwind, you can do that too. It doesn't matter. Like, you can do the teardrop or just drop right into it. It's up to you. Gotcha. Actually, now that I think about it, how bad do you got to pee? Because I can go right in on one no, seven. No, no, no. Are you sure? No, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather you practice. It's not that bad. Okay. All right. All right. Southwest traffic, Archer Nine or Two to Echo Charlie. Uh, we're about eight miles to the uh, to the northeast. Going to be overflying the field to join in for uh, down on our downwind for runway three five for a full stop. Perfect. Very nice. The river looks all dried up right there. Yeah. It hasn't rained much lately. They haven't. My grass is showing. Is it? It's just all brown. Damn. Yeah. But then again, I'm I'm okay with it because I kind of want all my grass to die off so I can replace it with some nicer grass. I got like crab grass right now. It's crap. <laughs> You went past. Oh no, you didn't. Yeah, you're going the right way. Oh. Nice. Nice, nice. Weed off some airspeed and some altitude. Sounds like traffic, Archer 932 Echo Charlie. We are three miles to the east. Uh, we're going to be overflying midfield to enter downwind for runway 35. Up next. It is like empty out here. Oh yeah. Be nice if it stayed that way. Right. 